Have you guys heard of ACE or ACE scores? ACE stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences. And I am bringing up this topic because sometimes people do not understand that the traumas that people experience as childhood in childhood can impact how they are as adults. It, it can impact your mental and your physical well-being well into adulthood. It could cause you to have diseases. It could cause you to um, cope with different kinds of risk averse behaviors. But let's talk about it. There are three types of ACE. There is abuse, neglect, and household dysfunction. Under abuse, it is physical, emotional, and sexual. There is neglect, as in physical and emotional. There is mental illness. Mother was treated violently. There was a divorce between your parents, incarcerated relative, and su substance abuse. In um, neglect, that's also where abandonment comes in, like if one of your parents just left you. People who take the ACE quiz and score a 5 out of 10 could be at risk for health risks. And these are some of the things um, under behavior. They could be sedentary. They're more prone to smoke or be an alcoholic, use drugs, or be absent from work. And that is, like I said, as you get older, you just don't care. Um, physical and mental health. This is where, you know, if you have a lack of physical exercise, this is where you could be obese, have health-related um, diabetes, depression, um, unaliving attempts, risky behaviors like sex, which will lead to STDs, heart disease, cancer, stroke, COPD, and broken bones. And I know that this might sound crazy, but traumatic experiences make you release different kinds of hormones that um, create um, a situation where you are protecting yourself in the moment, but consistent releasing of these hormones can have adverse um, adverse health risks as you get older. So this is something that you can read up on. According to the CDC, at least five out of 10 leading causes of death associated with ACEs, children who experience four or more adverse risks have um, negative health outcomes. Um, so go ahead and read this. Statistics show that depression is high, more likely to smoke, more likely to develop heart or lung disease, um, more likely to experience binge eating. So there are all kinds of behaviors that are at risk when you have childhood trauma. You can look up the ACE test online. Just look it up and see if your life has reflected any of these so that you can know how to move forward and fix things even now. As a I also want to talk about childhood trauma in that the relationships that you see growing up could very well impact you as an adult. You might not know what normal is or what a baseline for a healthy relationship is because if you've never seen it modeled how will you know how will you understand how to cope with things i bring this up because a lot of times people jump into my comment section when i'm doing these story times and they're like um they're so they just don't understand how certain women or how certain people just don't know how to move move around they don't understand that self-esteem, if you if it's in the basement, you will you might accept some things as normal. If you have seen a, a an abusive relationship modeled, abuse might be your baseline. Abuse might be your normal. If you are a people pleaser, it could be because you were trying to please somebody that might have been abusive or trying to make sure that you weren't harmed or your mother wasn't harmed or one of your siblings wasn't harmed. So you are being extra people pleasing to make sure that that abuser stopped doing what they were doing. And then this becomes your normal. So that is the reason why I try to bring some of these stories to light to help others who might not have um, gone through that. Some people might engage in more risky behaviors. They might um, engage in behaviors that are not healthy, like coping through food, alcohol, drugs, or whatnot, because they are doling the pain from past trauma. That is the reason why empathy and grace are important, because you never know what someone's normal was. You never know what their home life was like. And so I want us to do a little research 
read up on trauma, look up childhood traumas, look up traumas in general, look up PTSD, do some reading so that you can understand human behavior and why people act and react how they do. So go ahead, tell me what you think, like, comment, share.